it's amazing that uh, when I came to know about that my CAPS exam is cleared, so I was over the moon. Like I was very happy that I have cleared this exam. Like in India, there is no future of pharmacist. The earning of a pharmacy is very minimum. So I thought that I should move to Australia. So uh, Gupinder, now that you are in Australia, in Perth, Tell us about your life in Australia. How is Australia? How are you feeling in Australia? You know, is there any difficulty level that you are facing in Australia? How is it going till now? In India, I will say that the people only are getting only 15,000 per yeah. month. But yeah. here they are getting uh, like the $54 per hour. People are struggling to get that assessment, right. skill assessment. But we we got that skill assessment very easily by just cracking the CAPS exam. This is the very great platform. If anyone want to crack or qualify their exam, they should enroll in this. So, uh, hello everyone and welcome to Academically Podcast Session. As you all know, I am Sunidhi Shahi, your host, and I'm really thrilled to have you all here today with us. So guys, today our guest is very special and for this episode is Gupinder Jeet from Patiala, India. So, she is also currently residing in Perth. So, uh, Gupinder is pursuing studies in information technology at Academics Australia which is amazing and she is also on her student visa so she has a remarkable achievement her belt and uh, having successfully she has also cleared her caps exam with all the preparation with academically so we are really honored to have gupinder with us today so welcome gupinder thank you ma'am thank you so much yeah so uh, gupinder how are you tell me how are you you are in australia already so how is the feeling right now yeah, yeah, ma'am. It's amazing that uh, when I came to know about that my CAPS exam is cleared, so I was over the moon. Like, I was very happy that I have cleared this exam. Of course, of course, you have worked hard for it. You have cleared it. And we all can see that, you know, you're already there. You're already in Australia doing your things, which is absolutely amazing. So I really want to say that, you know, we as a team from Academically are very proud of you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much. So, uh, Gupinder, I will start with my first question that please uh, just tell us about yourself. Like, why did you plan to move to Australia? What have you done in your academic journey so far? And how has it been? Like, you know, how has your journey been so far till now? Okay, yes. Uh, as my name is Gupinder Jeet and I have uh, completed my B Pharmacy from Punjabi University, Patiala. And uh, like in India, there is no future of pharmacist. The earning of a pharmacy is very minimum. So I thought that I should move to Australia and uh, there I will crack my exam, the caps. And right. this will helpful for me and I can earn a hefty amount of money through this. So I plan to move Australia. Yeah. yeah. So what all have you done in your academic journey, like plus two, your graduation? Uh, where have you done your studies from? Tell us about your journey. Yeah, I have done my plus two standard from uh, like the village school, the Kahali Sahib, the Guru Tegh Bahadur Public School. It is situated in our village. Okay. So it is very uh, like close to my home. Uh, so I have passed my plus two standard from that school. After that, I went to Punjabi University, Patiala. Okay. And uh, from from there, I completed my B Pharmacy in 2018. Okay. So yes. from a small village to Patiala to now being in Australia. Wow. Wow, Jeet. Like amazing. We are really, really proud of you. And you are doing so good. You know, you are literally an inspiration to many because sab aisa usually now that we are like our motive and purpose of this interview is this only that you know it's not important that you have to be very very fluent in english you it's not important that you have to do your schooling from a very modern hi-fi school it's not important if there is a will there is a way way yeah yeah so yeah. Um, moving to my next question gopinder that you know, as I mentioned that you have cleared your CAPS exam. So would you like to tell the aspiring students who are going to give their CAPS exam that how is CAPS exam? How is the difficulty level? What type of questions are there? So please give us a brief about your journey in CAPS. 
yeah the caps exam everything which is taught in the classroom comes in the exam i was also very worried that what will come in the exam what should i study whether i should study more uh, to crack my exam but uh, there is no need to worry about at all what th the teachers are teaching in our classrooms that is enough for us and we should uh, continually like uh, do uh, mock tests that are very helpful i yeah. used to do mock tests again and again which were yeah. very helpful for me the exams were was of two hours and uh, i did the exam in one and half hour the first exam wow. paper one the, the questions are as same as which uh, we used to do in the mock test okay. so there is no need to worry at all the, the teachers has already cleared our, all the concepts so everything comes from that part the paper will be easy only we need to get 50 percent passing marks mm -hmm. so yeah this is very very easy exam i think this is very easy every everyone can crack this exam oh wow you just uh, mentioned and explained it wonderfully that you know you just need to focus on the 50 percent and you know the mock test i think mock test is something that is very helpful for you right yes ma'am yes these were very helpful for me yeah. So, uh, Gupinder, now that you are in Australia, in Perth, tell us about your life in Australia. How is Australia? How are you feeling in Australia? You know, is there any difficulty level that you are facing in Australia? How is it going till now? Yeah, I was in Darwin when I was studying for my CAPS exam. I was in Darwin uh, and I was studying in Charles Darwin University that time. But by staying there, I can't apply for my like the visa, PR visa. So okay. because there is uh, the criteria of uh, the Northern Territory that the students should complete their study before applying for the any visa. So do you like Australia? Do you love living in Australia right now? Yes, yes, I love living here. Uh, like, uh, I think uh, by living here, I can uh, like fulfill my dreams. I can yeah. do job as a pharma pharmacist. I, I love living here. So, as you just mentioned uh, in my last uh, answer, in your last answer, that you know, uh, the pharmacist job is not that well paid in India as compared to Australia. Yeah. That so, can you tell us a little about that? That how much uh, a general pharmacist get in Australia or how is the work life balance in australia for healthcare professionals uh, actually uh, yet i am not getting any job anywhere because i am studying so i think yeah. i should focus only on my study so right. i can't explain much better in that way but in india i will say that the people only are getting only 15000 per yeah. month but yeah. here they are getting uh, like the 54 dollars per hour Okay, so you're planning, you're right now studying and then you're planning to do and start your job in Australia, you know, because yes, obviously yes. who wouldn't want an amazing salary package with amazing, beautiful view. And I have heard that, you know, Australia has amazing weather, the beauty, yes, the scenic beauty is amazing. So tell us about yes. that. Yeah, the weather is as same as that in India. So we, we can't face any type of problem like here, like there is no snow. The weather is as same as we are facing in our, in our home country. So like uh, here I am living in Perth, here are mountains and the wow. view, like the view is very awesome. The Like here the environment is very clear, like there is no pollution. Wow, that's yeah. amazing because it is very yeah. important because you know, automatically it enhances everything you know the air quality the lifestyle everything is just very amazing to you know that fascinates people uh, the weather the mountains and as you mentioned that you know it's same like your home country so you don't have to settle you know because you're already used to that good weather so it's weather, not that yep. difficult Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So uh, moving to my uh, next question that, you know, uh, you have cleared your CAPS exam, uh, you know, so was the CAPS exam helpful for you to settle in Australia? Tell us the importance of clearing the CAPS exam. And also, you like to tell us any tips or tricks for the aspiring students? 
Yes, the tips and tricks for uh, cracking this exam. I will say that uh, do the mock tests again and again. That will be helpful. And listen the audios or recorded session of the teachers again and again. This will be helpful. And stay motivated. You will handle each and every question. The question will not be difficult. I know. And uh, like I have cleared my uh, caps exam. The day when I cleared my exam, I got uh, like the skill assessment outcome. Yeah. And that assessment the people are struggling to get that assessment right. skill assessment but we we got that as skill assessment very easily by just cracking the caps exam so yeah. i think uh, this is a very like the easiest path to yeah. get a pr in australia in such a like the australia is a country here like the pay scale is very high so, very high yeah yeah and yeah. you are working hard for it so see uh, you know we are seeing the results in front of our eyes we are looking at you and we are you know getting inspired by you because you have achieved and you know you are already there in australia living your life in perth studying preparing for your jobs so that's amazing that's amazing gopender so uh, yeah. moving to my next question which is very important you know because you have qualified your caps through academically so as academically i would also like to take your feedback you know that how was your caps preparation experience with academically Yes, my experience with academically was very great. There, there is a hesitation in everyone that uh, whether this platform is helpful for yeah, us to crack exactly. our exam or not. But I was very motivated from the first day that they are they are very helpful because when I used to talk to the teachers, they they just motivate me, and I was not wondering here and there, and mm -hmm. I was just uh, focusing on that what the teachers are teaching me and what. they are saying what they are uh, saying to do so i was uh, very motivated i don't wonder here and there i just focus on only on the academically this is the very great platform if uh, anyone want to crack or uh, qualify their exam they should enroll in this yes this thank you helpful. thank you so much for your kind words uh, gopinder this will literally help a lot of students because as you just mentioned that you know a lot of students get a little hesitation on you know will it be right will it be helpful but we take this feedbacks and you know as you just said it's not a scripted feedback we do it so that you know we can take the the right feedback from you so that our students can see it and they can get the you know the surety the confidence mm -hmm. to come ahead and yes. do the preparation because as you mm -hmm. mentioned that how caps exam you know just you cleared and how much it was helpful for you to go to australia So yeah, yes. so much for your feedback for us, and it really means a lot. So now, coming to my next question, that you know, did you face any any challenges or any types of problems while preparing for or taking the CAPS exam? Yes, I <laughs> yeah I will say yes. Yeah, uh, I faced a lot of problems uh, like I I was not able to study, and there were some days when I was not able yeah. to focus on my study. Mm -hmm. So I was uh, like, don't want to study. Like, yeah, yes. So, so obviously, uh, there are days you know when you don't want to study. There are days when you feel low when you don't want to study. But this is what our main motive is that you know we as academically try to cover each and every. everything that the maximum questions you know come up from that particular yeah, yeah. 80 to 90% percent, 80 to yeah. 90% percent, yes yeah. and you are just uh, stating the fact that 80 to 90% percent of the questions were from the you know the resource that we provide <laughs> Yes, my numericals, my like the uh, drawback is that I was very poor in my math, math yeah. and the numerical numerical part. But the numericals were I got only nine numericals, and the numericals oh, wow. four five numericals are as such uh, repeated that mm -hmm. were in the mock tests oh. as such. They are as such. I just crammed the answers and uh, uh, marked over there. That's that's amazing. That's amazing, Gupinder. So, at the end, would you like to say anything to the team of academically? Yes, I will say that uh, the team is very helpful. They are very motivating. Uh, they help the students each and every step uh, till the registration process. The path is not uh, like the finished when the uh, students yeah. have uh, like the uh, crack their exam. They help uh, students in other phase as well, like how to apply for registration, how to do another step. Like they help in uh, everything. 
Great, great. That's amazing. And it was really nice talking to you. Even I have got all, uh, a lot of information, a lot of motivation from you. So I am sure that, you know, all our aspiring students will get a lot of motivation, a lot of confidence from you. So thank you thank so much for that. And I really want to say once again that we are really proud of you and we wish you all the very best for your future. We wish you earn a lot of money, get a lot of, you know, good things. And have an amazing life ahead, Jeet. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so thank much. Thank you. Thank you so much, Gupinder. Thank you. Have an amazing time ahead. And thank you for this feedback, for this interview. We are really, really honored to have you. Thank you. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank, thank you. Bye-bye. Thanks. Bye-bye.